there's my subject matter for today. It's that time of year and I have a beautiful gardenia bush out in my yard. So here are my beautiful gardenias. One thing that I wish you could share uh, with me that I can't share through the video is the fragrance. The whole room right now is full of this wonderful So I'm going to do a drawing today with oil pastels. I have a huge box of oil pastels. You really only need a set of 12 colors. I have a lot of colors I've collected over the years. And I'm also going to show you how to use pencil. I really need a couple more of these. I just want to show you briefly how I'm set up. I have my this cute little lamp on only because I've, uh, it's supposed to rain today and but it gets very dark and then it gets light and then it gets dark and light. So by having a lamp on, I can control the light a little bit so the contrasts on what I'm going to draw remain the same. That's what I'm observing here also is the, the flowers are very, very white and the leaves are very dark. The glass kind of picks up the color of the table. So I have like a very light very dark, and then a kind of a neutral tonality in this arrangement. Um, as long as I get the, the shapes of the leaves down, the basic idea, I think, that's going to work for me in this, in this drawing. And maybe just put the, a little bit of background in. It's the edge of the table that intersects there. I'm just going to go in and adjust some of the lines. Again, this is just a sketch, so it doesn't have to be all that accurate. But I do want to get the shapes fairly close to what I see. Now I'm going to take out some of the lines just to sim make a simplified map of what this drawing is. Yeah, I'm just going to get into the color and sketch in the areas of the leaves. There are different kinds of greens here, but just to begin with, I'm going to block the whole leaf areas in with just one color. The centers of the gardenias are yellow. And even though they're very, very white, I'm going to use a white oil pastel to bring that color in. I need a pastel surface to work on with this technique. And the glass, the reflections in the glass I see are sort of silvery gray. So I'm just going to put those areas in now. Background is sort of a blonde color. Now, all of this may change in the process of doing the drawing. But for right now, I'm just, it's very important to get all the colors down so you can see what kind of environment you're working with. If you leave things out, it, it's actually going to be like a detour. So areas that haven't been handled are sort of like a snowstorm. They, they blind you to what's going on. Um, I don't really 
have this color in the background, but I think what I'm going to do is make the background here blue. Um, because I, I think I've, I'm liking the contrast of a dark area up here. So just loosely bring that color in now. Now I'm able to see how the colors begin to interact. This is very sketchy, but it gives me an idea of how to develop the drawing further. So now I'm going to go back into the leaves and develop that color a little bit more. Um, some of the leaves are lighter. So I can go in with a light color and alter that green. And some of the leaves are dark, really dark colors. So I actually can go in with that the blue that I've been working on and alter that green to make that green darker. I'm making the, a lighter green is just simply, I went in with this cream colored color here, and then I went back in with the green, and you can see how oil pastels, by overlaying the colors, you can get new colors. So if you don't have that color in your box of oil colors, you can make that color. I really like the contrast between these very dark leaves and the lighter leaves against the white flowers. refine that shape a little bit more. I'm defining some of these petals. The contrasts are very subtle in the flower. The shading I'm going to do in blue. Then I can go over these areas with white again to soften them. So that makes the shading and shape of the flower soft. So now I can go in and redefine these shapes a little better.
Before I develop this anymore, I'm going to go into the background and I'm going to do the bottom here, the glass, because you don't want to totally develop one part without by itself because you want to develop the whole thing more or less together. So let it let it build itself. The natural impulse is to finish get in and finish one area and then many times when you go into another area, it's disruptive. It doesn't look right because the idea that you had for developing one area doesn't fit the rest of the areas. So I'm liking the way this blue operates throughout The whole, the whole drawing. Again, I want to soften some of the reflections in the glass because they are shaded. Now I'm going to go into the background here and I'm thinking that I want to add another color. Um, I'm going to try maybe a, an orange for contrast, and then I will, will subdue that by probably taking the, the ochre over it again. So if I, if I put the orange down and I feel that it is too strong, I can go in with another color. to tone it down, maybe even this cream color here. I want to bring some of the orange into the glass because the glass is transparent. I'm going to go into the background here, which I wanted to be, I started with a dark blue, but now I'm thinking that I'm going to tone that down. I have to make a decision as to how dark I want it. We'll see how this balances out the rest of the composition now. I think I might bring some of the orange in here. for contrast. You can see bringing the orange in, it ends up being kind of a nice rich rust color. That might be good for the background. See how this plays out. I want to bring a little yellow in to pick up this left side and it makes a nice contrast maybe take the yellow right in to the background. And maybe into the center of the flowers. and then into some of the leaves. Each, each case is going to be different because of the color that I'm putting it on. You can see how the yellow heightens the green. Brings in a nice contrast, and yet it's dark. 
think I just want to bring in a, a middle blue right in these areas to bring up the shadow a little bit. Maybe on the leaves. Maybe in the shadow here. And you can see how this color lifts the dark up a little bit. I could even bring it into the orange. Now, I could take the orange and work back on that. Bring it back down. And then I'm going to go in with the white and I'm going to smooth that blue out that I just put in. Again. And then I think I'm going to reemphasize some of the sh dark shadows here with the blue, bringing the blue back in again. Push some of the background back by adding blue. And then maybe going in again with a, maybe a little orange just to solidify it a little bit more. So I'm thinking that this the way the colors are now um, balanced, everything is is balanced nicely. Um, where does the pencil come in, you may be asking. <laughs> oh, I'll be there in a minute. Hold on. I think that the, the development of the colors is done. Um, and I would say color-wise, this is complete. The nice thing about bringing a pencil in is that I can just go into certain areas like here. To give a little bit of detail. And you can see that a drawing pencil will kind of cut through. some of the areas and just bring in some really nice line. Don't want to do a whole lot here, just enough to emphasize certain areas. And the areas of color with the line, that's a nice contrast. Just enough. Okay, so my oil pastel drawing is done. That was a lot of fun. I'm just going to get a close-up here for you so you can see how the colors work and how the pencil lines make some really nice detail.